Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be housing guinea pigs indoors versus outdoors. This tends to be quite a debated subject and I'm just going to be giving kind of my experience from it and what my thoughts are on this topic. So obviously there is not necessarily a black and white right and wrong way to do things. I think it really depends on so many factors such as where you live, the health of your guinea pigs, how much space you have and so many other things whether you have pets indoors or not like other animals like dogs and cats but there's definitely pros and cons to both. So we'll start off talking about housing guinea pigs indoors. So I think first of all housing guinea pigs indoors you don't have to worry so much about temperature fluctuations, you can pretty much keep it a fairly stable temperature which is obviously good and you've not got to worry about things like drafts and damp doesn't tend to be as much of a problem like the humidity you can get in a outdoor enclosure inside a hutch or something like that so that isn't really a cause for concern. I also feel like it's a lot easier to bond with your guinea pigs if they're indoors. It is so much easier in the cold season when you don't have to go out and you know go out into the cold and do cleaning and feeding and health care and stuff like that so I think from that point of view housing them indoors is a lot easier I think monitoring their health can be easier because you are able to probably keep a close eye on them so from that point of view I do feel like monitoring them is probably easier indoors they still do have natural instincts and still like to exhibit natural behaviours and I think it's definitely easier to provide this in an outdoor accommodation compared to an indoor one even though indoors you could still provide natural enrichment and stuff like that I do think the vitamin D is great for them I think that the fresh air is healthy for them you may have limited space if you don't have so much room inside so you may have limitations on what size accommodation you can provide for them and as well as that there are obviously other concerns such as if you have a dog or a cat and keeping the guinea pig safe from a dog or a cat that could be another potential issue there. I do sometimes worry about indoor guinea pigs especially if there's a lot of you know harmful cleaning products being used in the house or harmful air fresheners or aerosols those types of things are not going to be good for their respiratory health so I do think the fact that the air is much cleaner out here and they're getting fresh air it also helps with the odour as well massively so yeah if you want a more kind of natural lifestyle for guinea pigs then I think that housing them outdoors can provide a little bit more of that than you would maybe get from housing them indoors. In summer, if you're in, especially in a hot climate or something, keeping guinea pigs cool can be quite tricky, especially if their enclosure is exposed to quite a lot of sunlight and you know they are quite prone to heat stroke and things like that. So I think having them indoors is probably easier to maintain generally a stable um, like temperature overall. So other things to consider, such as elderly guinea pigs, I think if they if they are healthy and fit there is no reason why they can't be outdoors but I think if they often elderly guinea pigs can be more prone to certain health problems and just generally if they have health problems or like a weak immune system then maybe housing them indoors is going to be better for them. So obviously skinny pigs have to live indoors anyway that's totally out of the question. They don't have any fur to protect them from the cold so it's essential that they stay indoors. So a drawback possibly of housing them indoors is lack of vitamin D. This could be quite a big issue if your guinea pigs never get outdoors because obviously vitamin D is very important and you don't necessarily get the full effect through a window. So I think it's important to ensure that they are somehow getting exposure to vitamin D. So that could be potentially a drawback to housing them indoors. And another thing could be odour, which 
could be debated again, some people maybe don't see this as an issue, but I think if you have them indoors, odour can be an issue and it can mean that you need to, you know, regularly spot clean, which is good to do anyway, but it may need doing even more to keep the odour down. If, for example, they're in your house, that could bother some people. So with housing guinea pigs in an outdoor enclosure, I do personally find it best to have more than two guinea pigs and you know some people may have an enclosure which can suit two guinea pigs outdoors and that's totally great if you do but obviously if you're in a colder climate or your enclosure is more exposed to you know the cold weather conditions then having more guinea pigs and certainly having a herd of guinea pigs is really going to help ensure that they can stay nice and warm and insulated in the colder season. So I do think a lot of this has to be judged on an individual basis. It really depends what kind of setups you can provide indoors versus outdoors. You know some people may not even have a garden or anything like that so that could obviously mean that keeping them indoors is the only option which is completely fine and you know vice versa. You may only have enough space for a larger or more spacious accommodation outdoors in which case that might be the better option. So some people may wonder can you you know move them from indoors to outdoors it's not as simple as just you take them out as and when you feel like it it's really important to choose times carefully you want it to be really as close as possible to the temperature outside compared to inside if you want to do this successfully so obviously you know big temperature fluctuations are not good for guinea pigs so if you were to take a guinea pig from a house with central heating in the winter and then you just move them straight out into an outdoor enclosure or hutch or whatever you have this is going to be pretty dangerous and honestly this could end up pretty badly so I would definitely avoid that so if you want to move them from indoors to outdoors the best way to do this is wait until you know late spring and when the temperature is kind of similar indoors to outdoors. It depends where you live of course but I'm talking mainly you know if you live in the UK. We have pretty harsh winters sometimes and you want to wait till you know late spring to at least wait till then to move them from indoors to outdoors just to ensure that the temperature change isn't too drastic. I guess it could be different if you have a heated shed, you may get round it that way, but again I'd still avoid doing this big transition in the cold season if you can. I think there is a lot of misconception about having guinea pigs outdoors, the fact that a lot of people think that it's not safe, and while you have to take precaution and ensure that you're doing you know, the best to ensure they stay healthy and make sure that they are protected from the elements, Obviously their healthcare has got to be on top of and they need to be receiving a good diet. So there's a lot to take into consideration. But I think have, having done research and also you know getting as much knowledge as you can and then kind of putting that into practice can ensure that they can stay healthy outdoors. So it definitely can be done. And you've also got to pay attention to the overnight temperature because although it may be okay and similar during the daytime, the overnight temperature could drop quite drastically. So again, you want to ensure that it's kind of a stable, warm enough temperature for them to move outdoors because they've got to become slowly accustomed to it. And guinea pigs actually create like an under winter coat when they're housed outdoors in the cold season. So a guinea pig that's been housed indoors probably hasn't got this winter coat because they wouldn't have need to grow it so again you want to take that into consideration remember that they don't have that extra insulation that the ones who have been solely accustomed to the cold will have so yeah some people find this the best compromise having them indoors for half the year and outdoors the other half the year the drawback of this is obviously you'll need two enclosures which isn't really feasible for everyone you know not everyone has the space to accommodate this but it's definitely an option if you do have the space for that and I don't see this as a bad option at all I think this is a really good compromise especially if you've only maybe got like a couple of guinea pigs then you know this is probably going to work really well for you I find that for some of my guinea pigs being indoors is better for them but for others I feel like the outdoor lifestyle is better so I think you've got to judge it on an individual basis 
according to what you can provide and also according to your individual guinea pig's needs. Another thing I want to cover is cost because housing your guinea pigs indoors versus outdoors can have quite different implications for cost. So with my outdoor guinea pigs I find we go through so much straw and lots of fresh food which I go through anyway with the indoor animals but certainly they have a higher energy demand throughout the colder season so they're requiring more you know root vegetables lots of generally leafy greens and stuff but a lot more veg throughout the cold season and obviously lots of straw like I said they go through so much hay as well especially you know they're having to eat to um, keep up their body heat as well so again I find we go for a lot of that their hutch needs cleaning so much more often because you know you're easily building up humidity and dampness in there so that's another thing they do need really regularly you know regular maintenance with the cleaning so it can be quite a lot more costly I think to house them outdoors but bear in mind I do have like 12 guinea pigs outside and I've only got two inside so if I was to have that many indoors I would still be going through so much bedding and food but I just find that this can increase slightly throughout the cold season. Certainly the half indoors half outdoors is a really good compromise for a lot of people and it means that you can get like the benefit of the outdoors whilst also not having to worry about them so much in the winter. Having the guinea pigs outdoors for us tends to work better. I do think that they are healthy and happy yet they have a much more spacious enclosure out here than they would be able to get indoors. But equally I have guinea pigs who've been housed indoors and needed to due to their health or other things like that. So thanks for watching this video, I hope you've enjoyed and maybe learnt something. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.